this way. Not 100% sure. I'm, I'm definitely not going down the side of a cliff. If that's where the cache is, nope, not going down the side of a cliff. I will stay up here and enjoy my life. What's the crack? Welcome to this week's episode. My name is David Kelly, I'm the Irish Guy Vlogs, and this week I'm doing some geocaching. And geocaching, if you don't know, it's like a little environmental treasure hunt. So in different spots around Ireland, you have these little caches, these little boxes where there's stuff stored in them. It could be notepads with pencils. A lot of the time you have to sign your name to prove you found the cache. And they're just like random boxes that are hidden around the country and hidden around the world. So today I'm gonna to try and find some geocaches around West Clare. I've only found one before in the past. It was a good few years ago. And it was interesting enough to find. Uh, a few more have popped up around the West Clare area. There's none unfortunately in Kilrush at the minute. I might have to do something about that. I'm gonna go out to Kilkey, Cargoholt and a few other spots along the way and just see what I can find and just have a little adventure today. So if you haven't guessed already I'm at the location of the first cache. I just don't know where it is. In order to do geocaching you need the geocaching app and you also need a GPS enabled device so that way you can go to the coordinates and find the cache. I know my first one is around here somewhere. If you don't know where I am I'm at the Climber Car Ferry. I'm gonna try and find it because I need to find like four or five more today. It should be a fun day, but you know, I'm not I'm not used to treasure hunting, so... Okay, so the hint that it's given me is under the ivy in the crook of a tree. And I think it's this tree here. This one. Oh, shit, I'm gonna get stung. Sleeves down. Get off me. <laughs> ow, ow. Under the ivy in the crook of a tree. I can't even stand up. People are gonna think I'm up f***ing dodging shit in here. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, maybe I should go in from the other side. Ah, see this this bit with the path would have been much easier. In the crook of a tree, huh? Oh, they're sticky. Everything is just sticking to me. Oh, there's something in my ear. Under the ivy, in the crook of a tree. Ow. The crook of a tree is like this part, isn't it? Like where that bit, the Y. No? Am I wrong? <laughs> oh. I found it. Cash number one. Okay, so I've got my phone hanging in the tree. I hope it can hear me properly. I've just found. Oh, shit, I just dropped. Okay, I just found the cash. People that don't know you're doing uh, geocaching are called muggles, so I hope there's no muggles that can see me doing this. Oh, what's inside? Uh, oh, what is it? It's a little notepad. I'm gonna sign it. What else? Crap, I didn't bring a pen. Shit. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, got the cash, got a pen, gonna sign this bad boy. I wonder if there's anyone in it who I know. Oh, probably not. Signed fairly recently though. It's really difficult to write my name and hold the camera at the same time, but I'm gonna try and do it. Uh, no, it's fucking next to impossible. D. Kelly. What day is today? Yeah, seal it up. Put it back into the crook. Those goddamn muggles. I see you muggles. Let's come back in here. In the crook. Bye bye. So I'm here in Kilkee. So I'm at my second location. <laughs> I know that was fast and I've already found the cache. It was actually a pretty good hiding place. It's a little bit bigger than the last one. I don't want any of the muggles to see me because then I'll blow my cover and you know, it'll be all over. But this is it. So I'm gonna open it now and uh, see what's inside. It's another little capsule within the capsule. I wonder what's in it. I thought it was just paper inside. I was hoping there'd be a little pencil. Is it, there's honestly a guy looking at me down there. If someone catches you geocaching, don't like try and act like it's a bad thing. <laughs> just try and bring him in on the secret and uh, tell him it's innocent. But now I have to hide this. It's back in. I'm gonna hide it. Okay. <laughs> the spiles of war. Ooh. Out for a stroll, not up to anything up to anything unusual or anything weird. I hope I didn't give away the location of this, I hope it's not a spoiler. I'm not sure if you've noticed either, but this is my second day. I did the caching climber and then I started pouring off the heavens and I just didn't want to continue, so uh, I hope that music doesn't get copyrighted. And I'm just about to head back up along the cliffs to my next cache, so let's go. So I'm here near the cliffs, this is my third location. 
my third cash. Uh, I'm not 100% sure where it is yet. If you're wondering how I'm getting around, it's my mother. She's gone down the road there somewhere. I have to thank her for uh, bringing me around because nice little adventure that I'm having. There's a muggle right there. Muggle. Okay, I've got to look up the clue for this. Hang on. Okay, so the clue is to the right of where the wall has fallen down. Ah, oh, might be up here. Just give it a minute and I'll show you the view from here. It's absolutely beautiful up here. Honestly, it's, it's really, really nice. I'm gonna try and find the cache now. The hint was to the right of where the wall has fallen down. Hope oh, that guy's not looking. I think I found it. Is that it? No, I think that's just rubbish. To the right of where the wall has fallen down. The wall has fallen down here and to the right. Now I'm confused. <laughs> Must be here somewhere. Maybe it's on the other side. I found it. I found it. Sneaky, sneaky. And look, it wasn't closed properly from the last time. Okay. Let's see what we have. Ah, cool. We have a pencil. This is actually a nice cache. Oh, don't want that to blow away. We've got some business cards. A little notepad. I'm gonna sign this. It's like a little charm. Or kind of like hair go go thingy. I bet I'm getting some strange looks. There's a lot of names in this. That's really cool. I'm gonna sign this. Look at my terrible writing. If you find this, let me know and you win a special prize to be named at a later date. It's probably like a pound of butter or something. Put everything back in. Careful, careful. Get in there. This thingy. Don't want to blow away, whatever it is. Okay, I think I've got it. Got to see if anyone's watching. There's nobody around. No muggles. And this is going back into the wall. Back to whence you came. Oh, that should be good. I hit it a small bit better than what it was. It was kind of cool. It was easy enough to find as well. You ready for this? So that was cache number three. Now we're going to go on to cache number four. It's a little bit further up along the cliffs, I think. So this is so weird. I've just spent the last 10 minutes talking to someone. They're, they're just after walking away. I was up in Loop Head a couple of months ago with Marie, the girl from France who was walking around Ireland. You can see the video here. We were hitchhiking and this lady offered to give us a lift to Kilrush and I'm just after bumping into her again. And the weird thing about it is the last time I met her, I gave her one of my business cards and she said, oh, I'll give this card to my daughter. And uh, I'm just after meeting her again now and she said, I give the card to my daughter and she's going to call you. So, you know, I just tried to convince her there. Yeah, get her to call me. It's just weird, you know, if I, if I hadn't done this today, I wouldn't have bumped into her and now I would and have that opportunity to try and make another video or or you know another customer even though it's starting to rain now and I didn't really want to come out today some days you know, that's kind of the thing, thing about life if you're not out there doing it you're, you're missing all the opportunities for other things to happen as well it's not just the opportunity for that one thing to happen you're shutting down the opportunity for everything else as well so hopefully something comes of that You might not know about Che Guevara's ties to Kilki. I'm going to be doing a video about that sometime. Very interesting story about Che Guevara. So I'm here at my fort location. So this is called Kilki Cliffs or Dunlicky, I think people call it. So I'm heading over now to geocache number four. It's over this way somewhere. It's starting to rain fairly heavy. Hopefully I find it fairly fast. I think the thing about geocaching is, and the thing I'm starting to learn about it is that see, it's partially about finding the cache, but it's also partially about where it brings you. Like to me, these locations are absolutely beautiful. And that's part of the adventure, you know? Not only are you finding the cache and say, I signed it and I came here, but you're also getting to see something really beautiful. And to me, there's not many places more beautiful than the west of Ireland. And I know it's not the best day to be showing it. It's raining, it's a little bit miserable, it's damp, but it's still beautiful. When I mentioned beautiful locations, I really did mean beautiful locations. I mean, look at this. The colour of that water. I'm gonna try and get close to the edge as I can. What a view. I think it's up this way. Not 100% sure. I'm, I'm definitely knocking down the side of a cliff. If that's where the cache is, nope, knocking down the side of a cliff. I will stay up here and enjoy my life. The clue is rocks, but I think I'm close to it. There must be rocks here somewhere. I'm knocking down the side of a cliff, not a hope. I see rocks over here on the ground, but I don't think. Hello? These things. I didn't see them, I walked straight past them on the way in. Okay, it's gonna be here somewhere. Cache number four, where I uh, show yourself. These have to be the rocks. Sit here. <laughs> Found you. Okay, I'm gonna take a seat. Can't unscrew it one end. Uh. 
Official geocache, please do not disturb. Gone fishing. It's a very basic geocache and I'm just gonna sign it. They've already got a pencil here, which is awesome. It's like a long list. God damn it. This is impossible, like seriously. This will do. D, K, boom. Geocache number four. If you find this, there's a prize waiting for you at the end of the rainbow. And I'm after looking up and there's like six people walking towards me and they're all looking at me. I have to be super sneaky. Be careful because they could be muggles. But yeah, it's an interesting cache. It's waterproof. You know, it's, it's a good little idea and it was tucked in nicely. I really hope I'm not spoiling any of the locations for this. I will put a spoiler warning at the start of the video, I guess, just so that people don't get pissed at me. They might anyway, but... Okay, I'm gonna hide this. Let me super sneaky. Dum, 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 dum. Dude, there's like 15 people here now. I think the cache is hidden. That's cache number four. They've all been decent, they've all been a bit of fun. I'm gonna head on now to cache number five, which is uh, I think gonna be a better one. It's at Carrigahall Castle, so let's go. Cheers, lads, that's a gorgeous hussy. Cash, well, almost. It's Carrigahold Castle. So the hint is look for the pile of stones adjacent to the west side of the main castle. So let's go. Got a wall to climb. Is this fence electric? Go under it. <laughs> uh, army roll. Ninja. <sighs> so I think there's people in here already. Coming up to Carrigahold Castle. It's in the background. This place is just so cool. I don't actually know a whole lot about Carrigahold Castle. I really should have done some research before I got here, but there are a couple of things I do know. Made out of stone. It's tall. I'd say taller than a man. I'm, on, I'm only guessing. Um, ah, just fucking stone. Oh, fucking asshole. It's the front door of the castle. Just think of the kings and lords that walk through here. And then through these doors and up the stairs to warm beds away from the battle outside or something. <laughs> Isn't war funny? I'm gonna take a wander into this thingy. It's like an old lookout tower, I guess. Cool. It's actually fairly warm in here. You know, if you put like a, a panel over this door, you could actually sleep in here, I guarantee you. What a beautiful little castle. Just think of the view that the people living in this castle had, looking out over the Atlantic. So anyway, back to geocaching. I got a little bit distracted there. Oh, there's cows. Hello. Sup, bro? It's happening. Good, that's good. Nice to see you. Look for the pile of stones adjacent to the west side of the main castle. Okay. Uh, compass. Where's west? Give me west. This direction? Oh god. Where's west? It must be this pile of stones here. It has to be. Is this west? West? No, please don't fall on my feet. Not there. Is this the west? Am I even in the right place? Something just moved in that bush. Maybe this is the pile of stones that I am in search of. I thought I was west. Where's west? Like seriously. Okay, I have to find this geocache. Oop, oh, maybe it's over here. Hello, geocache? This is a balls. Like, this is the west side. What? And they must be the stones, I just can't find it. Okay, I'm gonna give another quick check right here. Maybe someone's trolling me and they're just like watching me from a distance. But I can't find it. This is so annoying. It must be here. It has to be. Is it under here? Camera, can you see? Is there anything in there? Come on, where are you, Cash? I'm gonna start calling you Johnny. Johnny Cash. I've been here for like 15 minutes now. I don't wanna give up. I'm just, I'm just kind of making this pile of stones a little bit smaller and no, I can't find it. That's a balls. I don't know what to do now. This one is just a harder one, that's why I left it until the end. I'm, I'm enjoying being here, you know, I just really wish I could find it. It's so annoying. But as I said earlier, one of the best things about geocaching is that you get to see these beautiful places. You get to see places that you might not see normally without doing a geocache. So even though I haven't been successful with this cache, I'm still having a great time being here, seeing the castle, seeing the view from the bay, and I know this is gonna haunt me because I really want to find this cache. This is the one I really wanted to find and I can't. God damn it. Don't make me angry. I'm scared. Did you say something? Okay, I'll see you later. 
I'm a little bit annoyed now because I didn't find that geocache, but I mean, that's how it goes, you know. You can't win them all. And I think that's going to be my last geocache for today. I hope you've had a good time following me around. As I said at the start of the video, there's no geocaches in Kilrush, and I do want to do something about that. So the next couple of weeks are going to be really busy for me, but after that, towards the end of the summer, I'm going to put a nice geocache in Kilrush. That's all for me from today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you all again next Friday with another video. It's going to be really cool. Can't say what it is yet, but it's going to be interesting. I'll see you all then. Bye.